Structure and Working of Stomata In plants, most photosynthesis takes place in the leaf. Let us observe a leaf section to understand the location of stomata. The outermost layer is the waxy cuticle. Under the upper epidermal layer is a layer of palisade cells containing the chloroplasts. Beneath the palisade cells is the spongy tissue with air spaces. The stomata are located mainly in the lower epidermis. Stomata are nothing but minute pores in the lower epidermis of a leaf. Let us now observe a single stoma closely. The two bean-shaped cells enclosing the stoma are the specialized guard cells. The guard cells have a number of chloroplasts present in them. Observe that guard cells have a thin outer wall and a thick inner wall. The guard cells play a vital role by regulating the opening and closing of stoma. They control the exchange of gases between the leaf and the atmosphere. Air, containing carbon dioxide and oxygen, enters the plant through these openings, where it gets used in photosynthesis and respiration, respectively. During the day, the stomatal pores are open, and gaseous carbon dioxide enters the leaves. Waste oxygen produced by photosynthesis in the cells of the leaf interior exits through these same openings. Also, water vapor is released into the atmosphere through these pores in a process called transpiration. What regulates the opening and closing of the stomata during the day, the guard cells gain water and become turgid. That is, they become swollen or puffed out. During the night, the guard cells become flaccid, that is, wrinkled and less rigid, making the stomata close. Thus, the guard cells play an important role in photosynthesis. The factors that regulate the opening and closing of a stoma are listed here. Biological Rhythm Stomata continue to open and close on an approximately 24-hour clock even when switched to continuous light. Intensity of Light Light causes stomata to open. The minimum light level for opening of stomata in most plants is 1 by 1000 to 1 by 30 of full sunlight, just enough to cause some net photosynthesis. Concentration of carbon dioxide. Low concentrations of carbon dioxide cause stomata to open. High carbon dioxide content causes stomata to close. If carbon dioxide free air is blown across in darkness, stomata open. Water balance or humidity. Wilting plants close their stomata. 